Thank you very much. And also I would like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land off which we meet and also the uh, Melbourne City Council for hosting tonight. Uh, I'm just going to be brief and I'm looking forward to the questions and answers because I think that's more important. But I just want to go quickly go through the four years what we have done as a Labor government for the Western suburbs. Uh, whether it's fixing roads and rail, $518 million development line upgrade and duplicating uh, that line uh, and working on the electrifications hopefully yet to come soon. At nine level crossing we removed in the west and we opened a new train station in Tarnit and Carlin Springs. Around 1,000 new and upgraded station car parks in the west and also we, we have added, added extra services including 143 uh, for the Ballarat Line, 78, 78 for Werribee and 24 for Williamstown, and the list goes on. Now, the, this government's vision about public transport, I think it's unprecedented by any government in the Commonwealth. $11 billion <coughs> for the uh, Melbourne Metro Tunnel, uh, it's already commenced and on schedule, and the government, all, and we, we would have uh, uh, given the announcement about the outer Metro Tunnel, which is uh, which has uh, been planned. In fact, the Premier this morning in Sunshine made the announcement about we actually start looking to getting companies interested in the project. So if we get elected on the 24th of November, then we can hit the road running by start appointing people uh, or companies to start the project, uh, of which $300 million has been allocated to actually get it going. That's going to transform public transport in the state. Also, we fast track eight critical roads in the outer west. Uh, I won't go through the list, but I'll go through it later on. The M80, for example, that's the EJ Whitley Bridge. Its new completion will be open in the next few weeks. And we have major, major work happening on the Westgate Tunnel, the upgrade of the M80s and be massive uh, road improvements in that space. And also, well, we've got the $1.2 billion on hospital upgrades, whether the Mercy Hospital, Sunshine Hospital, John Kerner, Bellarabe Base Hospital, New Footscray Hospital to be built. And of course, let's not forget the campaign of started, which I personally support, the Melton Hospital to be built, and that's something we need to work on. Uh, education, uh, I think I'm proud to be part of this government who invested heavily in, in education. So we look at the previous Liberal government, spent $135 million in four years when they were in office. We already spent $629 million already in relation to education. And a further announcement is coming soon to Melton in the next few weeks about further schools to be, per, land to be purchased and uh, 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 schools to be built. Now, I'll finish off by Good news today, the government announced a grant of $5 billion to Melton as part of the Growing Suburb Fund, which is Melton have done extremely well out of that the last few years and undeservedly so. So I'll leave it at that before the bell rings because I'm looking forward to your questions before I think that's the best time to actually be able to ask you. You ask your questions and we give you the answers. So thank you very much for the opportunity.